Well, kind of feel like an idiot here. Here's Hello, Jason. Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Yeah, yeah. I like how you can... Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. You can Bless say us no all. To that. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, Preparations for the great journey can resume. You can kind of just tell him, eh, screw you. <laughs> but no, we are going to kill us some nightkin and free these wonderful ghouls of their yes. uh, tyrannical overlord? Hell, I don't know. We're going to go kill us some baddies. How's that? Wander our way back down to that nasty door I told you not to go through. The objective is pretty simple. You want to explore every room down there and make sure that. Well, let's see. You gotta kill all the nightkin down there. You'll find a guy in the basement who is kind of holed up, a ghoul that's stuck down there. And you'll find. I, I want to say his girlfriend, a good friend of his that you have to find. Well, I'm going to give you another spoiler alert now. Yes. You will find her, but she's already dead. Uh, it does give you kind of a hint where to look. It, you know, it really doesn't. Her corpse is buried in one of the lowest levels of the area. You pretty much have to explore every room to find her, though. There's no good way to explain it. But you will see me go there, and I will highlight it for you. And see you, corpse. Didn't want him in my way. And so I've been playing other games lately, like uh, Payday and uh, Saints Row. I'm sure you've seen some of those videos. And I miss some of that tech here. <laughs> We have guns, but, uh, I'd kill for a car right now. Or some homie G's to come help me out. Or even Creepy D. Eh. Here we go. Dark in here. If you want to use a skull, I can spot for it. Keep you on target. Yes, sir. I don't know why you said that, though. These are really close rooms, and being a sniper in close rooms is usually a bad idea, but you don't care. Oh. Damn, these things are hard to find sometimes. Also, it, you notice VATS works very well there. It can be a pain. Don't bother using VATS on a uh, cloak target. It will almost always register zeros across the bar board. You have to do it yourself.
I like closing doors on my face. Just make sure they work well. You know, they're not rusted. It's a good, good idea. You wouldn't want to get stuck in here with two rusted doors. You'd starve. See, I'm just thinking ahead. Oh, there you go. Zero. Ah, can't hit me. <laughs> oh. Apparently I'm stealth too. I don't know how a big guy can't just swing his club down. Uh, whatever, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, I hear you, Nightkin. <laughs> There has to be one around here somewhere. Duh. Yeah, these, you gotta take it pretty slow in here. These damn things are pretty relentless. Ooh, I level up. Hmm. I like some of these. That's kind of... Bloody Mess is probably the best. The 5% extra damage with all weapons, amazing. Plus, extra guts. Comprehension's probably the other one you really want to go for. You don't want to spend any skill points till you get that, either. So, keep that in mind. Mmm, cannibal. Go ahead and eat corpses. Useful if you really, really, really don't care about karma, but I hate to spend the skill point on it, so... I'd rather do the 5% more damage and just use less bullets. Another stealth boy. I'm gonna be able to stealth for days. I like to. Also, I, I always wonder why my stealth boy doesn't last nearly as long as the one on these giant blue nightkin. Fine, Fine by me. me. Uh, it's very easy for the, you know, seven, eight foot hulking muscular thing running at me to just cloak forever. Whereas for me, a couple hours fizzle. Yep, here are some crap boons. I'd like to see someone actually carry this much stuff. Just in a backpack. I understand, you know, oh, it's less than 200 pounds. You try to carry 200 pounds, an average person on your back running around. <sighs> it's pretty damn impressive if it only becomes encumbered at 220. And plus, you can roll a woman, and she too can carry 220 pounds. No problem. Okay. You know. Whatever. <laughs> Look at all those rebar clubs. Yes! I can almost rebuild a highway system. <laughs> oh, more junk! God, I'm gonna have to come back for so much of this stuff. Let's see what I can take now. I've got some room, I hate to leave it behind, but at the same time, I don't want to play the over-encumbered game. I'll definitely come back off video, so you guys don't watch, you know, four and a half hours of me running in slow motion. Which is pretty exciting, except not really ever. I could just run this game at half speed if you guys do like that, and just double the number of videos I have. It's important, by the way, there are six bottle caps there. Yeah. You do want to look, be on the lookout, though, because you can get the star 
the sarsaparilla star bottle caps. Those blend in very closely, except they have a blue and white star. <clears throat> Alright, so this is where the dead chick is. On the lower floor. I'm highlighting it now so you know. For some reason I always stumble upon this before I find the guide to get the quest initially. But it does save me some time too in that when I find him I can just say, Oh, I already found her. She's dead. Sorry, bro. Something in here wants to kill me, yeah. Oh, sound good. Yeah, good job, Boone. And this is why I'm a Boone is awesome. Oh, the jailer, yes. That, that's not rebar. Slightly larger and shoots fire. That was my XP bonus. Oh well. Oh yeah, you do need the key from the jailer. Probably a good thing he showed up then. She is. Yeah. Now I, of course, remember to use the light on my pit boy. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, that but that is the room she's in. You do need the jailer's key to get down here. He's usually around here though. In this case, he just showed up behind us. But you do randomly just find him while exploring down here. He's not necessarily in this spot. So just something to be aware of. This should be oh eh, key. <laughs> this is the control room we come to later on, I believe. That we actually launch them out of. More fun stuff here to collect. God. Yeah, I'll be making like two or three trips here. But that's all right. Want to make sure I have tons of capsule. I can help out you, the viewer. Oh, it actually helped me out, but you get to see how many caps I have, and definitely the more caps I have, the more important I am as a person. That's how it works in real life, too, right? Okay, good. Mm, getting kind of lost in these tunnels, uh... <laughs> I've been this way, I got that. I hear you? Oh, right, I haven't gone this way yet. you can talk to him. I ah, kind of itchy trigger finger had to open fire, I guess. Oh, well, it's the last of them. In any case. Yeah. 
Yes. Ah, uh, bumper sword. Yes, complete with license plate. Puts Cloud's weaponry to shame from Final Fantasy VII. Hey, like this, it tore it off a car. Okay. And here we are, the guy we're down here to rescue. Come and get it, you big hey. dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things oh. out there. Who the hell are you? Uh. Maybe you noticed a bunch of invisible monsters out there. I've been in here, trying not to get dead. I've noticed. I kill them on sight, so we haven't had much time to get acquainted. They're hard to see, obviously, but they are too smart when it comes to tactics. We're not stepping in traps. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it. Yeah, goodbye. Right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone. And a story. Great story, bro. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you. That Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Right. Looks like looks like I have to kill you as an option? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of here. Where is she? What? He sounds like Batman. I see. Spare me the details. God damn. She had the yellowest smile. Aww. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for Topside. It's just such a romantic, just beautiful, beautiful story. The one trap that's not set, and at least one that is. Yeah, this place is booby-trapped all hell. Watch yourself. I'm sure I'm gonna hit at least one trap down here, I always do. There are bear traps and there are hidden landmines to look out for. But they blend in really, really well. So, again, be careful. Do over. <laughs> so yeah, lots of traps to look out for down here. Watch out, bear traps everywhere. Ah, trip wire. Damn. Forgot about that. Yeah, it oh, I can't get the gun. There's trip wire and well, I guess I can take Ammo. There are also landmines hidden very, very well down here. Can I open them? Do I have a repair? No. I 
could with a magazine of some kind. <laughs> Don't remember what the name of it's called. <laughs> There, there, I just saw it. Yes! My shotgun. Ow! Bloody hell! You know what? Just patch myself up. Stupid things. Yeah, they're they're a pain in the ass to find. Uh, you have to be very careful, and they are a gray. They blend in with the floor. Let's see if I can find one. Well, I found one. Let's see if I can show that one off to you. That's what you're supposed to see. But at least the mines are worth it to collect and or sell. Or use. I'm sure that's not the only one. Oh. Uh, see two more. Ah, uh -oh. oh, you missed me. <laughs> I missed the trap line there. And because I had the book, I can grab those. Ah! Ow! <sighs> Booby traps. Gotta love them. I think that's the last of them, though. That's a plus. Just take a quick peek, make sure. Make sure F5, quick save. It's your best, bestest friend in the whole world. I uh, use it very liberally. Dead rad roach. Hmm, meat from the rad roach. Oh, it didn't blow up on me. Sweet. Will this tell us about. Yes, the stealth boys. <laughs> Yes, I literally root around for anything and everything, so... Eh. Special over here? Probably not. Oh. Stand corrected. 308 rounds, which... Shotgun? I don't know. I don't know my weapons. I'd imagine, given the larger dimension, that they are in fact shotgun rounds, so. So, I'm sure when somebody tells me that they're like a sniper bullet or something, well, whatever. I failed at guns 101. Hmm, food? This is looking familiar. 
feel like I'm stuck in a maze. Is there cheese over here? No. Mm. Here we go. Eh, sleep, yeah. Might as well get back to full health. It's right there. Alright. The next exciting step, climbing all those stairs again. Watch out. Oh boy, here we go. Stairs, stairs, stairs. It's like getting prepared for a raid, you know. You got all the items. Now you gotta go craft them, or in this case, turn in the quest, and then we can go do the raid. In this case, launch rockets. There's really nothing like a raid, I suppose. There's only one person, two if you count Boone. Ah. Oh. And my loot is just XP, which you don't get from raids. Hey, Jason. Yeah, suppose that'll do it. Till next time, folks, we will get this quest going when we return. Take care, all.